close. Today I'm going to be uh, showing you a game called Pit, and it is for three to seven players. Now Pit is one of the oldest card games around that's been published. It's been around for almost a hundred years. Um, this game is still being published today. The object of this game is you're going to be trying to do what's called cornering a market of a commodity. Um, you're going to be trying to get all cards of one commodity such as all wheat, all corn, all rye. And you're going to be trading frantically with other players trying to do this. Um, you also have a bull card and a bear card that can either double your score or it can subtract from your score if you get stuck with it. Let me go ahead and show you this cool game. Okay everybody, let me go ahead and show you the cards real quick and the commodities that are associated with them. Um, you have, as commodities, you have hay, you have flax, you have wheat, you have corn, um, you have, let me get here, you got the bull and the bear cards, uh, you have rye, and you have oats, and then you have barley. Now, uh, each of these cards has a number on them. If you are able to collect all of one of these commodities, you are going to score this amount of points. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to shuffle up all these cards, and then you're going to go ahead and deal them out to everybody. Now, depending on the amount of players there are, that's how many commodities that you are going to use. So, for example, if you're going to play a three-player game, like I'm setting up, you're going to basically just choose three of the commodities um, to use. So I'll go ahead and deal these cards out and I'll show you how the game works. Okay, so I have all the cards dealt out. Um, in this case, I'm not using the bull and the bear and I'll show you how to use that uh, in just a little bit. Anyway, everybody's got nine cards and there are nine cards per commodity. So there's like nine barley cards, for example. What you're going to be trying to do is you're going to be trying to collect one of these commodities and collect all of the cards. Um, so I'm looking at my hand here, and I have five rye cards. So rye is probably what I want to try to see if I can get. I only need to get four more rye cards in order to complete the set and go down and call what's called the corner. So what's going to happen is when uh, the person starts to say go, everybody is going to yell out a number between one and four. So for example, and this is basically going to uh, tell you amount of cards that you are willing to trade. So let's say I want to try to get rid of these oats. I'll say I got two, I got two, I got two. Or if I got like one barley in my hand, I got one, I got one, I got one. And everybody else is going to be doing the same thing. So let's say I go ahead and I'm saying I got two, I got two, and everybody else is yelling out numbers and somebody else says that they have two. And I go ahead and see them and then I go ahead and quickly trade the cards out. So now the guy is going to get oats and he gives me two barley cards. So now I go ahead and look at my hand, and now I've got four barley cards. But I decide I'm going to go ahead and stick with the rye. So I start yelling, I got four, I got four, I got four. Now again, everybody else is going to be yelling out numbers at the same time, telling you how many cards they have that they want to trade. So let's say I go ahead and I yell out four, I got four, I got four. And uh, the guy on the right says he has four, so he goes ahead, and we decide to go ahead and trade. And you just basically just trade you don't stop the game, you just basically trade as fast as you can and then do it again. So now he's got barley and I've got barley. So uh, he traded me four barley. So now once again I go and I, well, let's just say for example I say I've got three. Say I got three, I got three, I got three. And um, once again uh, the player on the right says he has three. So I said okay I'm going to try to see if I can get some of that barley back that he gave me. So I give him rye and he ends up giving me the three oats. And so once again, we have to keep going and going and going and going. And then once somebody is able to get all of one of the commodities, like so, they're going to lay the cards, or they're going to either lay the cards down or put them up in the air and say, I got a corner on barley. And that will end the round. So in this case, I will have scored 85 points because I got uh, the commodity down. And nobody scores any other points, and nobody loses any points in this game. The only person that scores points is the person that brought down the commodity. Okay, so now I've put in the bull and the bear cards into this hand. Now, two players have gotten ten cards. Now, um, if you end up having ten cards, you have a couple of decisions that you can make. You can decide to go ahead and try to get all of the commodities with the bull card as well and lay down all ten cards. If you manage to do that... Um, you are going to actually score double what you have. So if you put down all nine of the cards of one commodity and the bull card, say it was like nine rye, I would get 140 points. You can also use this card as a wild card. So let's say 
Um, I have everything. I have nine cards, but the bull card happens to be one of the nine cards. Um, what I can do is if I have nine cards, one of them being the bull card, I can toss out the extra card and then go ahead and just count it as a regular bull corner. There's a bull corner and a double bull corner. The bull corner is tossing out the card like I had just mentioned and collecting uh, all but one of the commodities and using the bull as the wild card. The double bull corner is if you are able to actually get all the commodities with the bull card. And that's a double bull corner. You would simply say double bull corner on barley or double bull corner on oats. Um, now the bear card is the card that you do not want to get stuck with. If you end up getting stuck with the bear card when um, somebody goes and calls um, a corner, you're going to lose 20 points. Also, you don't want to be stuck with the bull card if uh, somebody else goes down. If you get stuck with the bull card and somebody else goes down, then you're going to also lose 20 points. You can also trade out the bull and the bear card to other players with the other commodities. For example, you can say, I've got three, I've got three, and have two barley and a bear card in your hand to trade. You can also trade the bull and the bear card out together. So again, let's just do a round. Let's say uh, I'm calling out one. I've got one, one, one. And everybody else is yelling and somebody says they've got one. So I go ahead and I collect this and trade this with him and I've got an oats card. I say, okay, I got two, I got two, I got two. And uh, somebody else says they have two. Let's say it's uh, player three. He gives me two oats cards. I give him two barley cards. Okay, so let's say I've got all but one of the oat cards and I had the bull card here. I can actually go out and just simply take this barley card, throw it out, and say I've got a bull corner on oats. And that would basically count 60 points um, with the bull card, because in this case the bull card would be the wild card. Um, let's just say this guy got stuck with the bear card. This guy would lose 20 points. And if I was able to actually go down with all of the oats cards and the bull card at the same time, I would count. I would end up getting 120 points. And basically, you just play this game until you uh, come up with a set amount of points that you want to go to. I think the instructions have a suggestion, and whoever has the most amount of points is going to win. So my thoughts on Pit. Well, I got to tell you guys, this is one of my all-time favorite games to play. This game is fast. This game is fun, and you're guaranteed to laugh on this game because with everybody yelling numbers at the same time and trying to trade all at the same time on the table, it's just a hoot. It's really a fun, fun game. Um, there, the rules are really easy, um, but it's so, f it's just so funny because sometimes you'll actually, like I showed in the introduction, you'll actually trade the same cards with another player who's trying to get something else. And a lot of times you may start out with five rye cards, but with all the trading going on, you may end up getting more cards than Ryan, you'll have to try to switch up your strategy just trying to get all of these cards. There's one version I have that comes with an orange bell, and that bell's great too. Basically, you just ring the bell once you uh, get your corner and, um, you know, just go from there. But this game, I, I highly recommend this game to anybody who likes family fun games and just likes, this game's great. I love this game. Anyway, that is my review on Pit, you guys. Y'all take care. Take, bye.